Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the next chapter of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Where uh, it is currently 5.02 a.m. on Wednesday the 20th of March 2024. And uh... We're back at the mill in Ratai. I want to have a quick word with the miller because he had a whole bunch of shit. What do you want? Why are you so fucking just cunty? Just stop it. Um, tell me something about the other millers, I guess. Can you tell me something about the other millers? There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade: Woodsek in Kohelnitz and Simon in Sasa. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, my foot just cramped. I just tried to cross my legs. Ah. Okay. Tell me about Wojciech. He's young and hot-blooded with a short temper. But he's a fine fellow when you get to know him. His heart's in the right place, and he's always willing to lend a helping hand. Okay, Unfortunately, cool. he got himself into a feud with that usurer, the merchant Wolfram Pruder. Oh, I know that guy. Slimy bastard he is. And now they're sworn enemies. I'm pretty sure I met Wolfram. Maybe I just heard someone talk about him. I'm pretty sure he's in... Tal... Tal... What about this Simon in Sassau? An odd one he is. A loner who don't talk much. But he's as dogged as a hunting hound once he gets his teeth into anything. He won't let go until he sees it through. Even if he has to walk over dead bodies. Righto. I don't know why I care about other millers, but alright. Um... Can you teach me how to pickpocket? Would you teach me something about the uh, milling craft? Like how to get things out of strangers' purses into your own? <laughs> Aye, why not? You're handy enough. No doubt you'll master it. Come behind the mill where we won't be seen. Bye. Okay. He walks around the front and he's like, Lesson one of pickpocketing. Stick at my cock. You're like, stop it. What the fuck was that? Like, sorry, thought I'd give it a go. You seem like an idiot. Is this locked again? No. I can only use it so many times, sadly. But I did get a bit of skill out of it, so that's good. Oh, that behind the mill. Oh, I just hurt both of my ankles doing that. That's good. Love it. No, don't whistle for the horse. Hey, man. My feet hey, hurt. Lad. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you and take something from my purse. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable. But also getting caught in the act. Ooh. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out. Carefully. But fast enough so I don't notice. Try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. Oh, tutorial time. Picking pockets. Right. Picking pockets is no joking matter. If you're caught with your fingers in someone else's purse, either by the victim or by a witness, they'll raise the alarm. And you'll be pursued as a thief. In order to rob someone successfully, you'll first have to sneak up on them unnoticed, and then by holding A to begin pickpocketing. The first step is to grope around inside the purse by holding A. That's not easy, especially if your victim's on the move. The longer you can grope, the more time you... <laughs> this is... Uh, phrasing. The longer you can grope, the more time you will have to select what you want. In order to then steal, you have to extend the minimum time for groping, which you will recognize by the background of the rose changing color from red to green. The amount of time you have left for the second stage of stealing is shown by the number in the middle of the rosette. Keep a close eye on the color of the rosette. When it's light green, your victim has no chance of catching you. As it starts to get darker and turn red, your chances of getting caught in the act increase. Here you've dipped your hand into someone else's purse, and you have to get it out with the loot before the time is up and you're caught. The place where you're stealing. Here's some item that you've groped. 
You can find out what it is using A, then pressing A again, you can steal it. If you're an experienced pickpocket, an expert on items, you fully learn the item expert perk, you can also see the properties of the stolen item. Okay. This is the item you've just stolen. The time that remains before you're caught, you determined how long it is by the time you spent groping. Okay. The time you'll lose if you decide to steal the item in question. Depends mainly on the weight of the item. Right. That's quite complex. I like that, though. That's interesting. Bear with me for just a sec. I just realized what time of the morning it is, and all the trucks tend to go past this time of day, so we're just going to close the window. Okay, I'm back. Alright. Interesting. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. It's almost like a heartbeat, like it's pulsing. Oh god. Huh? Oh, I have to get out? Oh wow. Caught you. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Yeah, hold on. just pickpocketing successful, pickpocketing successful. Am I leveling up pickpocketing doing this? Or is it? No, not at all. Not even a little bit. I suppose because I haven't actually taken anything. Right. So now that I'm crouched, it doesn't look like it makes much of a difference. That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Best practice on drunks and sleeping folk, so you don't mm -hmm. end up in jail before you even get started. Thanks, Pashek. You're welcome. But I'll be having that dagger back now. Nah, it's mine. Okay. I'll try pickpocketing I'd like to try again. Try pickpocketing again. As you wish. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. First, you have to, once you've found try stealing my sure. Interesting. Oh, it takes forever to go around. It's not even like you can speed it up. That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. Best practice on drunk. Thanks, Pasha. You're welcome. So what is it that he says that he can train you in? Oh, he'll train you in both of these. Here you're able to open locks without a key. Will you teach me how? Certainly. Am I level five in lock picking? I'm not, am I? I'm interested in more advanced techniques. Wouldn't you rather learn the basics first? Good I'd idea. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll come. 
60 gold, eh? Isn't that quite a lot? What if... 50 gold? Agree? That's not enough. Agreed. Now listen up. Okay. He's also a shop. I think. Can you tell me? Um. No. That's all. There's one. He was a shop. Okay. Yeah. So when I improve my lock picking, did that put it up by a level? No. Didn't even put it up by a whole level. Interesting. Okay. Oh, what's this? What's warfare? Total fighting skill with weapons or unarmed. The more skillful a warrior are, the faster your attacks are, and the harder it is for an opponent to defend against them. Okay. Interesting. You're able to unhorse opponents with Bailman. Unlocks the ability to conduct feints. I don't know if I was taught that, but that's alright. Thank you for the good stuff, Robert. Alright. You have a greater chance of drawing your opponent's blood. The more damaged your sword, the greater chance of poisoning your opponent when you hit him even without poison applied to your weapon. If you do have poison on a damaged weapon, the chances of administering it are increased by half. That's not bad. Hmm. Six of them. How many do I get? Five. All right, I'm going to go blood letter then. So I can draw blood. It's very rare that I'll pick a perk. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Uh, Jack, sell me this game over replaying Oblivion. Um, it's that's. I can't, not because I don't think that this game is good, but because I can't really compare a game that I've spent 20 hours with, with Oblivion. Kutenberg? What's wrong with Kutenberg? It takes place in the Czech Republic. It's based in real world history. Very in depth. There's a lot of very fancy systems. Um, there's definitely an Oblivion vibe to it, but it's not. It's it's very much its own thing. It's a dirty word in Dutch, is it now? There you go. It's a it's a city, isn't it? No dog. Like, if I could just press B to quit out of his dialogue, that would probably be better for me, but that's alright. No, 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 don't sit. No, don't... Uh. Up. Do I have the perk that lets me use bathhouse services for free? Did I pick that? Highborn, lowborn, silver tongue. Um. Each perk points at every fourth level up. 
what level can I get it up to? Like, can I only pick five of these? Because there's... Oh, no, there's, there's not many more, actually. Okay. Uh... I'll get this one for now then. Guten means fannies. Ah, there you go. Oh, I can pickpocket anybody now. Hell yeah. Mother of God, you look like you've been assaulted. I fell. Sorry. I'm interested. Uh huh. And what? Actually. Goodbye. What are you selling, lady? There's books. School book on vitality. Oh, I can actually fucking read that too. Uh, yes, please. You can buy the crackling and the wine, I suppose. Let's talk about the price. Hmm. Can you romance right, in this game? So. Some tavern wenches? Um, the past two quests that I did, I got late. Uh, and I'm about to again. Are we agreed? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. I'll go for that. Free book. Well, not free book, it was actually 29 gold, but still. I'd like to make use of the bathhouse's services. Uh-huh. And what do you want? I would like a shave. Not that. Uh, no deal. There you go. Like Thank you. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Take care. Oh, because I'm using the bathhouse services for free. Right. So that's what. All right. I'm interested interesting. in your. Uh... uh huh. And what do you want? Does that mean that I can do. Eriting? I'd like. For um, free? A private bath for two. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. May the Lord watch you. She's just really getting into it. It's just a massage. She's just really getting into the massage. That's all. That's all it is. Keep mind out of the gutter. No boobs, lame. Not for this, no. There is stuff in the quest, though. There's full on cutscenes and shit. Hello. And now we also have the buffs. Alpha male, your needs have been satisfied and it shows you're feeling self-confident and freshly shorn. Can I sit somewhere? It's our bath. Am I comfortable here? When you can't go on anymore, push yourself harder. What could happen? In the worst case scenario, you'll die at the finish line. four o'clock in the afternoon by then but hopefully it'll rank me up as well we don't even really know who we screwed could have been her ugly sister it definitely wasn't her because she's the matron the 
The last hour always takes the longest. She thinks she's too good for us? Yeah, clearly. There's minions. Vitality, vitality, reading. Hell yeah! Who will, uh... Where's our second reading primer? I can't read any longer than that. Interesting. Okay. What time is it? It's like four o'clock already, yeah? Hmm. I don't want to leave it too late going up to the city because all the shops are going to be closed. But... Mine. Is there a chest in here that's mine? I thought this one was mine, that's why I wanted to use it. But no, apparently not. Is this in this end somewhere? No, this is all just other beds. No, alright. It's not up here. I hurt myself on your stairs. Oh, are you two okay? You guys all right? Doing good? How realistic is the encumbrance in this game? I'm quite the hoarder. Uh, oh, I've gone out the wrong way. Um, okay. Jesus! So, what that? what's what? Oh God! I didn't realize I was still standing together. Um, so, I can chuck stuff on my horse. Yeah, this bludgeon can fuck off. I don't need it. Uh, the same as mine. Go away. Lady slippers I can't even wear. These old boots are garbage. So are these working boots. I don't think I stole anything else except for the Groshen. Okay, so we just chucked everything on the ground. Um, so you can automatically transfer stuff to your horse. Uh, and anywhere that is like your quote-unquote home, including like taverns that you stay in overnight, not the bathhouse, I couldn't find the chest in there, but anywhere that's like a home, um, you can... You basically have like an ender chest. If you're familiar with Minecraft terms, you have a you have an everywhere chest. He doesn't look right. He doesn't look okay. Um so you do have like a from what I can understand so far at least, a bottomless chest that you can stash stuff in. Um But yes, ender chests. Uh how the frick does lockpicking work? I am still learning myself. It's very weird. It is a very, very weird system. I'm starting to get the hang of it a little bit, but I've only picked easy locks so far. But I'm starting to get the hang of it a little bit. Thank you for the Estes Posty. Um, what do we rank up in? Reading. Got another reading perk point. 
Being well learned, you make a better impression on people and get a plus one speech bonus when trying to persuade a guard. Nah. First time you look at a fresco, cross, or way shrine, your charisma increases temporarily. Eh. When reading, you get tired and hungry twice as slowly as normal. Eh. I don't really care about any of them. Your level of study of the book you've read most will advance automatically while sleeping or skipping time. That's handy. You can pick Locks IRL. I think that's a really cool skill to have, to be honest. Like garlic, onions, mushrooms, and asparagus. Shut up. Come right up. No need to be shy. Um Yeah, I think that's a really cool skill to have because it's it's not like Oh, I go around fucking stealing shit. It's like I don't know, it's something that I've always wanted to learn as well. Just more out of curiosity than anything. Um but yeah, it's, uh, yeah. God be with you. I'd love to, I'd love to learn one day. Got some shit to sell you, bud. That is currently on my horse. Damn it. I've read that, so you can have that. What do you have for sale? I didn't even really look. No, not Rate. What kind oh, of. Oh my god! He's. Wait. Hercules and his diet too. Hercules and his diet too. Oh my god. He really doesn't have anything particularly amazing. Oh yeah, I could pickpocket that guard now, I guess. There's a quest giver in here somewhere. This guy gives a quest? For you. Good day to you. What do you need? Uh, how are the refugees, I guess? How are you coping? As well as we can, Henry. You can be glad Sir Radzik took you into his service. I hear you even go hunting with Lord Capon. Once. I've been once. And I don't think it'll be happening again anytime soon. No, he got ah, kidnapped. That's a shame. Because I was going to ask a favor of you. I'm sure you know there's a lot of hungry mouths here, so I thought you might be able to help. Um, I mean, I can't feed everyone. I don't know. I'm not such a great hunter that I could feed all the refugees. No, no, that's not what I meant. It's the townspeople here who have a taste for game. They want to live like the nobility, see? A few of the burgers have been to see me already, to ask if we'd try our luck in the woods. They promised us supplies in exchange, flour, lard, eggs, and the like. But we can't afford to take the risk of poaching. We're barely tolerated as it is. If one of ours got caught in the woods, they'd hang him from the nearest tree. But I was thinking, you, you're in Sir Radzik's garrison and you go hunting with Sir Hans. You could help us. Sure. Well, I got away with brawling with Laura Capon, so I don't suppose they'll string me up for a few hairs. Great, Henry. I really appreciate it. The local tailor was asking me about getting some hairs to put on a feast for a visiting merchant. All right. I'll bring you something. Thank you. You'll be saving us from starvation. Farewell. Okay. Interesting. Kill them. It's less mouths to feed. Fair enough. That would probably work for about 10 seconds. And then I'd immediately be arrested and murdered. Hello. Good day to you. What do you need? Can you repair my stuff? 
Like this real bastard one. Oh, he can repair it. Interesting. Hundred gold to repair everything. How much is it for repair kits? I'm guessing he sells repair kits. He's got it, right? Containing material. Taylor's repair kit containing patching material, needle and thread. Taylor's kit containing patching fabric, a needle and thread and scissors. That was a hundred bucks for him to repair everything. I don't know, I'll get one. I'll get one. I'll try and hang him down a bit too. Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. He's not too fast on having a word about the price. I'm going to offer you 36. What about this? How's that? Come now, just a little more and we have a deal. How about 38? I for that amount I can be persuaded. Eh. Yeah. Okay. So Repair. Oh no, maybe I have to. Oops. Nope. Maybe I have to go into here. All Taylor's kit apply. Can. Okay, so. Put on that. Two damaged. Two damaged. You do not have enough skill. God damn it. Alright, so we've got a repair kit. So that's good. Put that on the horse. For now. Yay. So as we were saying, Good luck to you. repairs, right? Let's have a word about the price. Sure, why not? He wants 100. I'm going to offer him 85. Agree? How's that? Is that good for you? I'd almost shake on that. I'd almost shake on it. How about 99.9? That's a sum I can live with. There's all my stuff fucking fixed now. All my clothes at least. Uh... It is! He fixed my clothes. Fucking oath. Alright. What are you? You're just a traitor. Jesus you do Christ stuff? Be praised. Take care. Same shit. Oh, but it's cheaper because she's female. Because that's the perk that I had. Knock, knock. I'm a shop man. You're an artisan. You're an armorsmith. What is the difference? Be with you. Can you repair Lord, shit? Watch over you. Hundred and eighty three. But I don't want you to repair this helmet because I hate it. All right, let's haggle. Let's have a word about the price. Why not? Uh, sure. That much. Agree? And the word of today is no. That's not enough. Okay, chill. We're good. 150's fine. 
I'll go for that. I would also like a helmet. You got shields too. Oh, I've got five strength now. Ninety-eight defense, hundred and fifty defense, and it gives you a boost to charisma. That's pretty sick. Pretty light too. Oh, because they cost fourteen hundred. I see. I see. Oh, and he's got Hercules in his diet one. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll grab that in a minute. Armor. We have a hat, please. Can I organize this by where on the body it is? Doesn't look like it. This really good helmet that's 3.7k. It's a proper knight's helmet, that's pretty fancy. This one's only 3.1k, so it's, it's just cheap shit. Clearly. The German ones. Let's, uh, let's put things into price range and we'll see what we can afford. I have 1.3. So, Ooh. it's heavy. Drops my charisma. What the fuck even? Is that really? This helmet. Wait, why does my charisma just say 11? Is it just 11 in general? Oh, it's 12. Hold on. Is that helmet seriously give me a bonus to charisma? It looks so stupid. No. Okay. I don't understand then. No, don't, don't, don't training. Don't training. Sell. Yeah, no, I do. I have, I have one less charisma at the moment from him, and I don't know why. Whatever. Maybe it's because I've haggled with him, and he's like, thanks. What else do you want? Uh, are we organized by price? No, hold on. Oh, bye. So I got 1.3. I can afford this one, which makes me less sneaky. But it bumps up my armor by like a bunch. So does this one, that's a lot cheaper. Do you have just like a hat? The scaly skull cap is his cheapest one. 374. Alright then. Hey look. Gutenberg Gambeson. Good old Gutenberg. Haggle. Can we do something about the price? Why not? Why not? You haggle with me anyway, so let's haggle again. How about... Oh, 300's like spoiling you. How about 275? Is this enough? That's not enough. Oh. Didn't piss him off too much. Alright, so... Yeah, 300. Let's do it. Sick. Now, Mr... Wait, where'd he go? 
Where's the artisan? Oh, here he is. I just wanted to just look at him. Good day to you. What do you need? I don't know. What do you do? Take care now. The same shit. I see. Is that in case I kill the other one? Like... Okay. Bread! Bread! And I've also got... a bunch of ingredients. On my horse. Oh, I could sell more shit too. What do I need for it? Oh, grab the sheepskin. Grab the red deer hide. Is it in my chest, is it? I think I need... I'm starting with a B and thistles. Maybe. Who are you? You look fancy. Oh, you just come outside. Really? Probably where I couldn't find you last time. Now I'll go to the weaponsmith in a bit. How do I... I have to go to the pub, don't I? Okay. Oh, you can't sprint while overloaded. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was overloaded. The weapon dude Yeah, No. Oh, he's there. Sigismund and his murderers took everything I had. Oh, that's a shame. Hey, random dude. Like a general store guy. You buy everything, right? Yeah, good. Do you want a whole bunch of, like, off mushrooms? They're pretty great. And some sheepskin and some deer hides. Let's have a word about the price. It's a gaggle. Aye. Okay. Um. What about 105? Satisfied? That sounds pretty interesting. A little less, and I'll be satisfied. Uh. Ooh. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. Someone just slammed on their brakes outside really hard. Okay, we're no longer over encumbered. But I am still full bellied. Um, where else was I going? Oh, yes, the tavern. I have to go to the tavern. Because the tavern should give me access to a chest. Isn't the tavern, like, just here? Fuck's the tavern. Oh, it's a little bit further up. Bakery, tavern, there it is. Is he going to be like, this is a private area? Hey, what the I'm sorry. Can I'm sorry. Help? Yeah, yeah. I need to make a broom. Hello? God be with you. What can I do for you? Wait a second. God bless. Innkeeper. I'm honored that you should come to me. Yeah, man. I... <laughs> Take care now. Why... I want a room.
Like I need to access my chest. Ugh. Trying to think of what I can. Hello, horse. Gallop through the middle of town. All the guards are going to love it. Look out. They want to go hunting for hares. I'm tempted just to buy some hair and be like, yeah, I got some. But I don't know how many I'm going to need. Shut up with the bell. We're going to confiscate this entire country's bells. I don't know, was that quicker than fast traveling? Maybe. Okay, I need... Nettle? Maybe? And the other thing I don't have. Or maybe it's thistles. I don't remember, it's one or the other. That one's not marked as stolen anymore. Oh, it needs this. Sick. <laughs> oh yeah, fast travel's way quicker. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Pretty sure Nightingale stands as a guard, but I don't really know when. Okay. Baked goods fresh from the oven. Come and get them. I'm hoping the alchemist isn't closed. Okay, good. No, 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 no. Stay right there. Good day to you. Could you also, yes. Belladonna, that's what we need. Four of them? Fuck, he sells a lot of garbage, doesn't he? I guess I'll buy one of your savior snaps. Fuck, they're expensive. Can we do something about the price? <laughs> I thought well, that dude in the background was tied to the it. pole then. What do I give you 185? Is this enough? That's not enough. 185 is almost 220. What about 208? See now? I knew we'd come to an agreement. Turns out that's actually what I wanted in the first place, so suck shit. Wash myself in the trough. Can I climb this? Yes, I can. Maybe? Yep, alright, good. Okay. What the fuck did I need to do for this again? All right. Oh, I can read it now. Whoever drinks this potion shall, shall save his game and his soul. And though he should succumb to death, even shall re he return to life. Prepare wine, two handfuls of belladonna and one of nettle. Boil the nettle for two turns. Grind the belladonna. Drop in the belladonna and boil for one more turn. All right.
Wait, what? Grind the Belladonna. Dude, this is like me at my job. Yeah, kinda. Gotta make sure all the chemicals are right. Mix it all up. I'm sure modern day chemists are exactly the same. You've got the, the bellows and your, your mortar and pestles. You used belladonna today. Wait, really? Two handfuls of belladonna and one of nettle. Okay. Alright, let's get the... Uh, Get the cauldron boiling. Get this fire cranking. Wine, they said? Pretty sure they said wine. Oh well, we're about to find out. Okay. Keep this nice and hot. Now let's get some belladonna. Chuck it in the mortar. Need two handfuls. We'll grind it up real nice. We use it in a small amount for pills against things like the cold. Well, there you go. I use it to save my game. One handful of nettle for two turns of the sand glass. Keep it boiling. Turn it again. That's two. Alright, let's use our dish. Keep it boiling. Drop that in. Flip the sand glass one last time. Keep it going. Grab a file. We'll get out our potion. Hey, we brewed it. Excellent. That's what we wanted. We still use a mortar and pestle, or however you write that. Mortar and pestle is still common these days, depending on where you are in the world. But, um... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even think of, like, the old Belladonna still being a thing, you know? Alright, so we want to keep Nettle and Belladonna on the horse when I'm not too lazy to actually make shit. Um. Alright, let's quickly book it up. We'll go to the pub. We'll see if we can use these die. Because one of them's like... God's die or some shit. Heavenly Kingdom die. Yeah. All that for a single save. Yep. Certainly is. Horse. Bud. I need you to get the fuck out of the way. Hide hand or Milan? I want to verse you a die. I want to ruin your game that you're currently you playing. To me. Thanks, I guess. Let's play dice. You up for a throw or two? 
It looked like a robot penis. Let's, uh... Let's make our wager, let's say, uh... 30 groschen? Can. Playing die loaded in favor of odd numbers. Yeah. Let's use both of them. You're a brave soul taking me on. I'm not used to losing. I don't know what that means. Take the one, I guess. And uh, I'll roll again. Wait, one, two. I don't know what that is. Does it, do I know what that is? I don't know what that is. I'm using a dice that I don't even know what it is. A die. Use your head, man. You lose everything. I'll just, I'll just take all three. I'll take all three and we'll move on with my life. Um, you do save when you sleep. You save at certain points in quests. Um, that's it. You don't have to go through that whole process to do it. I'm just starting to do alchemy to learn how to do that. <sighs> And if you hmm. save and quit, it also saves. Did you just bust? Oh, I didn't. Fuck. No point Go on, get greedy. Ah. One. Two, four, five, six. Tick. Um, roll again. That'll do. I don't know what the Holy Kingdom die is. That's it. Pretty sure you had three, four, five, six there. Ah. Oh. That'll do me. What have I got? One, one, three, four, five. Um, roll again. Mm. I'll take the five, I guess. Is this a one? No, it's not, because I can't roll again. If I was in your shoes, I'd pass while the going's good. Yeah? Maybe it's a six. Maybe that's the equivalent of like when you see a D20 and the 20 has a cool symbol on it. Maybe it's the six that has a symbol. That's it. Hmm. Go on, do it again. Bust. One. Bust. Bust, you fuck. Can't. Nah, he's not gonna roll now again. You. Hey, just as you ordered. Okay, can we have a beer? Oh, I got three sixes. Hell yeah. Uh, yep, that'll do. Fuck off. 
We'll see. The best good neighbors. Is that your cheat die? Can they catch you? I don't know. This is the first time I've used it. That'll do me. Hold on, what have I got? I've got two sixes. Three, four, five, six. That doesn't fucking help me. Wait. The devil's head is a set of dice with a joker instead of a one, which acts as a wild number in combination with any other number. I want the devil's head. That sounds sick. I do like, though, that this is like a mini game that I really didn't take seriously. And now that I've I realized that there was a dude that had different colored dye, I'm like, what's that? And yeah, it's a thing. You can collect different dye. It's Gwen all over again. Yeah, maybe not that in depth, but yeah. If I was in your shoes, I'd pass while the going's good. Ooh. I know. Yeah. Can I roll again? If I was in your shoes, I'd pass while the going's good. I can roll again. Oh, that's what old mate did. Right. Oh, come on. It's time I had a throw. Nah, fuck you, man. It's all me. Um. I'm going to bank one of these fives. Oh, come on. It's time I had a throw. That's enough, I think. Coming. Hmm. Oh, he's got a triple. Fuck. That's it. He's going to roll another one. Oh, fuck. I'm fucked. Oh, mate, mm. did this with the last one. He just did, like, the last couple of rolls and was like, that's me. I'm done now. Finished. Fuck me, dead. Uh... One, two, no threes, two fives. Uh, I'll take the one, I guess. I'll take the one again, I guess. Use your head, man. You lose everything. Holy mother of God! Why I you win. Punish me? Suck shit. Can I not stay in this inn? Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Mm. No one I can take off. Helpful. Thank you. Good luck to you. You're not allowed to walk around Ratai without a. A lamp out. Um, maybe I can stay here. Maybe I can only stay in the one that's outside of town. Yeah, lodgings. Can I fast travel to this gate? Wait, why did I want to stay there anyway? The only reason I wanted to stay anywhere was so that I could get into that chest.
I'm pretty sure, actually, old mate that fucking taught me how to play the dice game originally had a coloured die. I am pretty, pretty sure. Nope, not what I want. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna gallop back into town. The British are coming! The British are coming! There's a quest giver up here. Like an actual quest. Run over people. Maybe it's the bailiff? <gasps> Bookshelf. Oh. Where is he? Is he downstairs? Or is he upstairs further? Is this private quarters? It certainly is. Good to know. Well, in that case... I can't sit at his desk. Can I open this door? Okay. Fuck am I? Oh, now I'm in a private area. Right, well. I will sit for a moment. And read some book. Can't read any longer than that. That's all right. Progress is progress. So where's the last hour? It must just have, like, a light simulation when you wait for everything. And then it gets to that last hour and it's like, we've got to simulate everything in the last hour, you know? I leveled up in reading. That's good. It didn't give me any perk points, though. That's alright. I'll get lasting lockpicks for now. Stealth, I don't really care about either of these. At least for the moment, anyway. Combat stuff is literally combos. Okay. 
I don't want, I don't want, I don't care about sleeping. Either. At the moment, at least, anyway. Oh, it's agility. We leveled up in agility. Let you jump aside during combat. Featherweight. Falling will cause you 30% less injury. That's handy. You're not wearing plate armor, you'll be 50% easier for you to dodge strikes. Hmm. Oh, you have a better chance of winning dice. That's a cool perk. I like that. Okay. Alright, well I can't. Is he seriously just still not here? Dude, come downstairs. the fuck is he not even here anymore <laughs> no, he's definitely here quest giver and there's like another star quest tipster right no it's over that way Maybe it is in the tailor. No, because the tailor left the shop at night. Oi. Oi, you fuck prickle. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Yeah, I've been waiting for you all night. You just fucked off. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? I should say so. The bishop's vicar came to Ujits, and not even Sir Hanush knows what he's after in these parts. Something must be up, but I couldn't tell you more than that. Anything else? Master Bailiff? Nothing of interest to me, thank you. You look like you've got a lot on your plate, Master Bailiff. Is work keeping you busy? Busy? I've had so many visitors, I wouldn't wonder if the door fell off its hinges. What's going on? I've been given the task of putting some of the Scarlet's refugees to work. It's not that there's a shortage of jobs, the problem's sharing them out fairly. I understand. Everyone has mouths to feed. The worst part is they won't tell you who really needs a job the most, but you might be able to help, Henry. How? They're like to be more honest with you, so you can find out who's in the most need. And you can decide for yourself who'll do what. Will you help? Sure thing. If you need help, I'll do whatever I can. You're a godsend. I'm sure it won't take too long. You know how the refugees are getting on, don't you? But ask around if you need to find out more. What kind of work are we talking about? Well, old Hagen is looking for a cook, and we need three, actually five, carriers. A cook and five water carriers? That sounds simple enough. Is there a problem? A little. We need three water carriers, but the other two will have to carry... Begging your pardon, shit. Or as the Pope would say, excrement. Right. Is there anyone who can tell me more about it? Yes, the merchant Conrad Hagen is the one looking for a cook, so you can talk to him. And young Alex will know which of the Scarlet's folk are best suited to the job. That's the rabbit dude. How come that's such a cause for concern? For one thing, they're afraid of me. And I can't get a straight answer out of any of them. So how the hell am I supposed to make the right choice? Oh, they're desperate. You can't blame them. I don't, 
but I might end up picking some good for nothing who'll just booze his wages away. Uh -huh. Can you tell me anything more about the cook? You'll have to ask Hagen yourself. I couldn't get a straightforward answer out of him. Maybe he's changed his mind. Okay. And the carriers? What do I need to know about the water carriers? We need three. Right now, some of the burgers' hands are doing the job. And they need to go all the way down to the river for water. Of course, where else would they get it? Gallows Hill? It's not an easy job, but someone has to do it. Okay. And the shit? What can you tell me about the other... Um, carriers? It's dirty, but it's a job that needs to be done. There'll be more than enough work for them. Some places are overflowing. Sounds disgusting. Why would anyone want the job? If all else fails, I'll pay two groschen for every one I pay the water carriers. That might convince someone. Fair enough. That's all I need to know. Good luck, then. May the Lord watch over you. Well. Have a look at these cucumbers. They'll stay firm all winter. Oh, baby. I had it all. Be merciful. All right, I gotta head into the castle. I have to head into the castle for quest reasons. Also, I've had an ear in my pocket for a long time. I very much need to get rid of that ear. Lockpick? Oi! Not even. Oh. Maybe they're up higher? Hello. I didn't pickpocket anything, I was scared. Knock, knock. Hey, Hans. <clears throat> Are you still injured? Is that why you're laying in bed? Or are you asleep? Because you're fully clothed. Greetings. What business have you? I don't know, man. How you feeling? How goes it, sir? Are you recovered? I am. For all the good it does. The boredom here. The only thing I have to read is the Bible. And the Hamish won't let anyone near me but the priest. Have you any idea the monotonous drivel that fella comes out with? This world is but a trial. Be repentant. He talks to me as if I'm about to breathe my last. Actually, he talks to me as if I were already dead. Listen, Henry, won't you come with me to the Rate Baths? I, I need a change of scene before moss starts growing on me. Why the baths? Why to the baths? Well, a hot bath does a man good. <laughs> it does. Which is why you can bath here any time you like. Have you ever seen Clara, the bathhouse wench? Henry, she's a beauty. We might have met earlier. If I didn't know better, I'd say I was in love with her. I have terrible news for you. How much time do you want to spend there? I don't know yet, but at least a few days. Holy shit. Bathing in mud wraps during the day and in the evening. But in the evening, fun. What'd you say? Will you join me? Days of being at the baths. What about your wounds? But what about your wounds, sir? Well, I won't lie to you. It hurts like the devil. But I'd rather hobble along with a cane, howling in pain, than listen to a selection of the most boring passages from the Gospels for one more minute. All right, I'll meet you at the baths then. Why not? When do you want to go? I shall go there right away, but wait until at least dusk to join me. I'll have company there. All right. I'll come and join you there. 
See you later. Okie dokie. I am very, very tired. I sleep till dusk. Hold on, cancel the sleep. Is it going to let us read today or am I too tired to read? Because we did read today. But did we read today? One hundred percent. And this one should be red, and then we can start reading the Hercules one. Ding. Ugh. Uh, okay. Sleep for 10 hours, go downstairs, eat out of the cooking pot, and then go down to the baths and find out what Sir Hans requires assistance with. I don't know, I can't blame him. I went to the baths. Turned me into a different person. If I didn't go to the baths when I did, I probably wouldn't be looking like a metal penis. Would have cost me way more money. Let me just get a GE hour of reading in, actually. Again. How much I get done in an hour? Like 10%? percent it's not bad okay go downstairs to the kitchen grab a bowl of feed actually is there a bowl of feed here oh there's a fucking whole hog here though no other food on the tables come on give me something to work with nothing holy shit I didn't even notice you there Scared the shit out of me. Run away! That's him. From what I heard, he was mixed up in that business. What do you mean? He slunk off right after all the slaughter, and God alone knows where he got to. What's that but a guilty conscience? He didn't do it. Mm, well, I know him well, but that doesn't sound much like him. Maybe they just nabbed him. That He's Australian. Mind too, but I reckon not. Those bastards that raided the farm were bloodthirsty cutthroats who spared nobody they got their hands on. By all accounts, it wasn't coin they were after. Only blood. Why would they kidnap some stable hand? True enough, but it still don't make sense to me. Why would a quiet lad like that throw his lot in with that spawn of Satan? For sure there's something else behind it. I don't know about that. I do. I was there. Oh my god, guards. Nope. It is on the middle one. Hello, how you doing? Mm, that looks delicious, Kiv. Ah, that was good. Anyway, I'm out of here. OK. 
Can I do this? Be pretty funny. I can. Nope. All right. Hans, old buddy, old mate, old pal. What was the chick's name? Carla. Something like that. Monsieur Capon. Am I in the right place? Courtship? No, that's not it. Next to godliness? Ugh. 70 hair meat, hey? Is he in here, is he? You Carla? No, yours, yours, Denna. Denna? Hey, man. What do you need, sir? I need you to do me a favor, Henry. Sure. Of course, sir. Good. Well, you'd never think it, but Denna here is a demon at dice. She stripped me bare ass naked and I couldn't even get a ribbon off her. That wasn't the plan? So it didn't quite go as planned? Not quite, but maybe you can do better. Right then, you've got to beat Zdenna at dice. Ah! He used to be the only one here with his ass on show. Sure. All right, why the hell not? All right, bathhouse lady. Let's play. How about a game of dice then? Are you sure? What would I do with two naked men here? So many things. <laughs> Let's see how good you are. Good luck then. I've been practicing all my life for this. I can't wait to see what you throw. Oh, I only need 1,400. That's low. Oh, three threes? Great start. Um, I'll pass. Let's see what she's got. It seems there's method in your madness. Doesn't look like she has fancy dye. Hmm. Oh, oh, that's my whole hand in the start. She's already beaten me. Finished. Roll again. Bust. Ah, fuck yeah. Um, one, one, three, three, five. All right. Uh, shit. I'll take the five and roll again, I guess. Um, ah, fuck. I'll take the one again and I'll roll again. Okay. All right. I'll take all three of these and we'll, uh, pass it back. Bad move. Fuck uh, you, dude. I'm proud of you anyway. That's it. Come on, bust. Get fucked. Get fucked. Stop it. <laughs> oh, mate. You are fucking done for. 
4K. Yes. Thank you. Very, very fucking much. I win. So many times my, over. Oh my. Some real competition at last. You know I let you win, Paul. Wait, what? We what? I've heard all about you. But you won't be better of me. Um, do we have to be here again? I mean, I kicked her ass. Bad move. You're oh, stupid. I'm Shut up. You. Get back to your bath. This will be the one. Took them both. Interesting. That's it. Oh, she gonna bust? Damn. Yes. Uh. Take the one. Um. I'll take this one then. Take that one. I'll take that one. I'll pass it back. It seems there's method in your madness. <laughs> Oh, I've got to beat her a certain number of times because we're losing pieces of clothing. Shit. All right. It's strip dice. I see. That's it. That's all. Oh, hey. Hello. Bust. Shit. Hmm. Oh. What's with these Fuck shit. Dice. I don't know, you're not cheating hard enough, I guess. Uh the Heavenly Kingdom die. I win. Har 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 har. You took off a hat, and that's really. Hello. How are you? How have you all been getting on here? Well, Lord Capon's been chasing us around a bit and so forth. Nothing we're not used to. Why is your hair full of sticks? Goodbye. Hey, bud. I could do with a good soak too. Then strip off and hop in here. All right, why not? Six feet apart. Put your clothes in the trunk. Uh, I don't wanna. Shift over. I don't want to tread on anything vital. All right, give me a moment and I'll roll it up again. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That feels good. Man, don't take this personally, but I've never seen a man more in need of a wash. Dude, I was here this morning. <laughs> cow pats less fragrant. <laughs> <laughs> what is he talking about? <laughs> You certainly know how to have a good time. It's a bath, yeah, dude. Drink. It's not terribly high quality, but it should do the job. Sure. I don't mind if I do. Give me that. That's the spirit. 
So this is or how is you recuperate the wine? from your injuries. Booze and wenches. Of course. Is there any other way? So, what news, Henry? Never mind about me. What about you? Have you recovered from our hunting adventure? I'm well enough, Henry. These baths are just the thing, and Zena here is very healing. Clara, bring some wine for the gents before they get cross. I won't get cross. You know what, Henry? We What's really up? can't drink this local piss. Why not? Really, sir? Such mean words from a noble gent. Clara, my most favoured bathmaid. But, but admit it, my dear. The wine you have here is pitiful. Rude. What's your problem? What's wrong with the bathhouse wine? I'd rather drink the bath water. You should go and get something better. Though where? Ah! I know! In the cellars under the rat house, there's some excellent wine that Sir Hanush bought for us. That's such a long and you trip. you want me to go there and get it now? I'd be indebted to you. And a grateful nobleman is the best ally you can have. All right. All right, then. What kind of wine is it? A silver and red. In the cellar under the rat house. It's the last barrel at the end on the right-hand side. Get a picture somewhere and take it with you. All right. Last barrel on the right. It's a silver and red. I'd like to ask you something about this wine. What is it? Two dudes in the bath. Nothing to see here. Exactly. So I can just go there and take whatever I want? Yeah. No. Not exactly. It would be best if no one saw you. Ah, I see. And this wine wouldn't be kept under lock and key by any chance? Um, yes. Probably. But that won't stop a clever fella like you, will it? Which wine is it you want? The Sylvan Red. It's the very last keg on the right in the back. You'll recognise it easily. It's the only one that's tapped. All right. All right. I already hate this plan. All right, then. I'll bring it. Good, man. Can I have my clothes back? I don't know what locks they fit, but Lord Capon uses them to go to the Rat House cellars. Okay, good. I don't have to pick locks if I do that, then. This is all his shit, is it? Wait, did I just steal his keys? I don't think so. I can, though. I'll leave his clothes, it's fine. Find the silver and red in the right house. Get a picture. This is a picture right here. Wow, well, it's more of a jug. That's a picture. Find the silver and red, get a picture, get into the rat house through the rear door on the ground floor, or get into the rat house through the rear upstairs door. Right. Okay. I don't know how to get out of where we are. Hello. Now. Hey, dog. Oh, that's you. You're right here. So, we're going to go into the rat house. I'm going to check to see if any of the clothes that I've got with me are going to increase my sneakiness. Look out. Oh, I think I need a torch too. Look out everybody. The guards get all pissy if you don't have a torch out. Okay. 
Nope. Clothes, conspicuousness. Brown hose is good. Oh, the conspicuousness is higher because I'm drunk. Plus one, close you get. But you can speak, you also rise. Okay. That's alright. I shouldn't have had the drink with him, but it's whatever. Okay, so it's get, currently it's getting debuffed because of... That makes it go down. That makes it go down. That does two. That makes it go up. Nothing else helps me be sneaky. Good to know. Let's say I had like nine of them and I know that's just defenses. Okay. Unless I go through the rear of the rat house, I'm assuming. We're going to go all the way around the back of the building. Really? Get out. Get out. Get out. Come on. Up. Over. Over the railing. Come on. Oh, you were so close. Why must you betray me, Henry? How fucking far around do I need to go just to get up there? This way? There's a... Nope, this is just a pile of logs. That doesn't help me either. The dog's gonna give me away. Alright, so the other entrance is gonna be all the way around this way then. Hey guards. Nothing to see here, just a dude basically wearing his pyjamas. Run around. That's... I should be able to unlock that because I've got Sir Hans' keys. Hold on, what's what? What's... Which which is what's what? Cellars below, below me. B to get the picture. C's ground floor. D is not. Alright, so there's a picture down here as well. That's the fucking Sir Hans key. Gross. Hey, guard, can you fuck off? That'd be real helpful. This is... Ah! Alright. Well? I'll use one of my schnapses then. Everyone knows I love a good uh, stealth quest. I cannot see anything. Oh, I wasn't even looking at the door. too dark. Are you for real? Are you for real? Get away. I can't see anything. My screen's going black. Where am I? Hello? 
Why? Hey. Hey, how you doing? You stay there, yeah? Good boy. I don't know why he's just chilling. I guess he's tired. Hey, you. What are you doing here? I'm getting wine for Capon. Lord Capon sent me to get some wine for him. Lord Capon, eh? A likely story. Uh, that's not gonna work. Um, only seven, bud. You clearly don't know Laura Capon. Do you think he's gonna leave in the middle of his merriment to go and get his own wine? Ha! <laughs> no, that doesn't sound like the young lord. I suppose he sent you for the Sylvan Red. The very one. Well, you'll leave some for Sir Hanush at least, won't you? <laughs> I'll try. Cool conversation with the door, bud. Yeah, it's the last one on the right. It's the only one that's tapped. Is this the whole cellar? I need a picture. Here it is. Give me this. That one. It work. Pretty sure that's it. Alright, I'm fucking out of here. That worked well. It's like we got a guard that was kind of smart. After he figured out how he could stand up. Alright, pony, let's go. Yeah. We'll get the fuck out of here. Hans is a weird dude. I gotta say, I'm warming up to him there. Ha! We got off into the water trough. Good job. Lockpick. Oh, he's in the next one. That's right. Knock, knock. Guess who's got the good wine? It's a me. Hello? So, about that wine you sent me for. Well, have you got it? Of course. You really broke into the cellar at the rat house? I certainly did. I hope that wine's really worth the trouble I had. I don't believe it. You really broke into the cellar. I stole your keys. Insane. I used your key. Nothing to it. I just used your key. My key? Why, you sly rogue, you. You're craftier than I thought. Demon. You keep the key. They let me in there whenever I want anyway. Well, let's see if this wine is as good as you say. What are you waiting for? The parish priest's blessing? Come on, then. Get it down, you. Ah, now that's what I call a real wine. Did you just... Silver red. Drink that. Not like that donkey's piss they serve in this what? otherwise likely establishment. You can tell from the first sip, can't you, Henry? He looks dead inside. Yeah, as you say, sir. Sylvan red. The taste is unmistakable. Oh, 
Yay, drinking. God, Henry. Leave Bob's her hands. I'm not like the other girls. I know, Clara. You, you are, are different. Mm -hmm. you, you, you deserve more. Mm. You deserve flowers. What? You, what? What kind of um, flowers do you like? Uh, Don't you dare. Well, I like all kinds. I like dandelions, uh, sage, knotweed, and poppies. I really like poppies. Oh, Henry, did you hear that? Don't what? you dare. The lady requests da dandelions, mm -hmm. uh, uh, sage, mm -hmm. uh, cabbages. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. No, no, not weed and puppies. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you want me to go flower picking now? I know, I know. I'm putting you to work again. But if you do it, I'll give you Grivensy Flobbin Groschen. <laughs> that much. <laughs> All right. I'll go. Uh, uh, uh. Yay, drunken flower picking. What was it she said? Sage something? Something else? And Roses? Yeah, what would a bouquet be without roses? There's some in the upper castle garden. She didn't want roses. May the Lord watch over you. She didn't want roses at all. What are you talking about? Oh my god. That's not where I want to go. Kind of wish you could cancel fast travel, even if there was like a loading moment. But if you're like fast traveling to a point, I'm like, stop. It could be like, oh, you want to stop here? Okay. Do the thing. There you go. Upper castle garden, he says. Oh yeah, I'm drunk. They're going to get pissy because I don't have a torch yet. Fucking... Oh, down there? No, really? But I've just run up this way. Yeah, I can't jump down there without breaking my legs. Castle's a bit of a dick. Run! Does shit respawn in nests? No. Or at least not yet, anyway. So Henry has been... either drunk or on drugs for days now. Literal days. Give me some noms. Mmm, delicious. It sounds like he's eating his fingers. Like he's, he's just like, nah, um, this is this is my life. I'm gonna eat my own fingers. 
I'm going to make it sound as gross as possible. Okay. Flowers. You know, not like our horse is already full of them. Please don't. Please don't. You suck. You suck. It's not even down here. I can't fast travel from this location. Why would you say I can then? That was so weird. You can't fast travel from here. Alright, you can fast travel from here. Oh, pardon me. So... Out this way, I guess? You discovered a camp. Oh, here we go. These poppies? Yep. How many do I need to grab? Dandelions? Good. Was it sage? Dandelion, sage. I don't want to pick roses. Actually, you specifically said not roses, right? Uh, there's five different ones. Dandelion, poppy, sage. Not weed. I don't know what that is. What are you? Hey dog, long time, not super annoying. I'm back. What the hell are you doing here? Uh oh. I'd like some privacy if you don't mind. I've come for my wench. Well, as you can see, I'm not your wench or anyone <laughs> else's, so fuck off. What are you doing with my Clara, you cunt? Archie, stop that. He's just bathing here. Bathing here, is he? When all the wenches but you are whores. Archie! And are you whoring now, too? That's enough, Archibald! <laughs> Archibald, <laughs> you shut your mouth! I'm not done with you. No, I swear the gentleman hasn't touched me. Actually, that's quite true. Um, well, mostly. No, nothing happened. Nothing. We'll talk about this later. First, I'm dealing with this bastard. I'd like to see you try arson balls. <laughs> that's not a good idea. Arson balls. Stop <laughs> <laughs> it, both of you! Fuck you now. <laughs> Hey! What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna kill him. Dance with him! Hey man! Stop it. Don't knee me in the face, that's very rude. Smash his quack! What the hell got into you? Trying to drown a nobleman? Oh shit. You didn't even ask. Fuck. <coughs> I didn't know. Get out of my sights. Go on before I remember I can have you hung. I apologize, your lordship. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Archie, wait. Oh. Whew. I nearly got drowned by arson balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
That's the least relaxing bath I've ever had. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, I feel like I've swallowed the Baltic. Oh, drinking will be the death of you. Damn right. Is there any wine left? Mm. Are you out of your fucking mind? You want to carry on? Of course. Well, don't tell me you don't fancy a drink after all that. Hey, he's got a point. Like, in for penny, in for pound. Whoa. Waking up outside. Look, I didn't get bashed up. Who's there? It me. Hello. God be with you. Do you no. God bless. Oh. Hey. What will you do with them, Sir Hans? <laughs> what, with arson balls? Oh. I don't know. What do you think I should do with him? Don't punish him. He was drunk and insane with jealousy. I'm sure he'll be sorry when he sobers up. But he tried to drown a nobleman. I can't just let him off. He didn't know who you were. Anyway, if you let him off, you'll show that you're the better man. I suppose you're right. Fuck him. <laughs> but we had some pretty good sport, eh? Don't we did. Know. And I got some money. And I got strip dye. What does strip dye do? Is that just a dye that I got off her? Legend has it, it can strip more than one maiden. I don't understand. But alright. <laughs> See you, Sir Hans. Yeah. Have a good one. And he gave us a little bit of cash. Which is nice. Very nice, actually. We got some points, too. Some points for... Strength. We level up in strength. You can deplete an opponent's health and stamina by bumping into him at a sprint. Okay. Your stamina regen will not slow down in combat, even on the weapon backswing. That's handy. That I will grab. 100%. Very handy. Um, we're leveled up and unarmed, but we still haven't got any... I don't, I don't think there's any perks for unarmed, to be honest. They're going to be rank 7. Um... Yeah, that's right, stealth perks aren't really worth it to us. And neither is the reading one. Okay. Let's see if we can have a little read. it'll cap us off in strength too well it'll cap off the book and it'll buff us in strength hopefully enough to get another level maybe 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 yeah 
Is Henry reading the sequel before he even reads the first one? Yes, and we ranked up what strength and reading? Okay. Take a point of reading, excellent. All right, so we got avid reader and cushion. Your level of study of the book you've read most of will advance automatically while sleeping or skipping time. When you're sitting comfortably, you get a double reading bonus. I want both of these, which is lucky because I have two perk points. Good shit. Hey, Teresa. I've had a big couple of days. Okay. Ugh. Well, VOD viewers, there's been a big couple of days in Henry's life. Which brings us to the end of this one. So if you're watching this tomorrow 10 years from now long after i'm gone you're awesome and i am sure that you'll hear from me again catch you next time see ya <laughs>